On the men's side, you beat Wash U by a couple points. Um, was that an expectation going in? It was an expectation for the team. I mean, you want to be a national champ, you got to beat teams like Wash U. Um, as a coach, I've, I've never beat them before. They're really good, you know, so uh, it was a big day for the team. It was a big day for me. Uh, I'm a Wash U alum, you know, so it's sort of doubly exciting. Uh, but they're a tremendous team, you know, and it's one of those where we're going to see them two more times this year. Uh, we just beat them in the, the one that counts the least. I wouldn't say we're checking Wash U off the list. We still see them as a, as a team, you know, that, that's going to be competing for a you know, podium spot. Cross country started right in in the motherland in you know Scotland England and sure. I, I assume that they get a lot of days like what we had you know um, it was the deluge you know it was rain it was right I mean we were either going to run a cross country race or build an ark um, I mean it was pretty bad out there uh, we got about an inch and a half in two hours you know so uh, pretty pretty tumultuous. You know, and I kept getting people, you know, texting me or calling me. You gonna, you gonna, you know, cancel the meet? You know, and yeah, out of your mind. You know, I mean, we would have ran that thing, you know, with much more water and much more mud. Um, we're gonna get that that meet in. I was really pleased with how our team responded to the weather. You know, they really didn't waver. I think if anything, they were really excited, you know, to run in it. And you kind of need that edge, you know, because we saw a lot of miserable runners, you know, on the course. Really. You know, nice, solid, good people, hard-working people, you know, that were really feeling sorry for themselves going through those puddles in the mud. And, and you know, that, that, for the most part, wasn't our team. You know, we were, the pictures will show it on Facebook. I mean, uh, we were doing pretty well. We were pretty focused on it. But it definitely changes a race. We got out much more conservative because of it. Times were slow. Um, the course definitely is beat up now. We got to let that thing heal, you know, for a month before we get on there for, you know, the NCAA regional meet. Well, on the women's side, were there any specific expectations? Well, I mean, one of our expectations was to close the gap on Carlton. You know, this is year four for me here at Warburg, and the closest we've ever came to, you know, to beating Carlton has been about 70 points. Uh, so, you know, to beat them, you know, that's pretty exciting. I mean, Carlton had one of their better runners uh, not finish the race, uh, and that certainly contributed to it, but we ran pretty well. And, um, yeah, at the same time, we can run better. The cool thing about getting those kind of wins, it, it tells the team, you know, you can do it, you know, and, and beating Carlton is something that I don't think that they've really had. And, you know, Coach Spitz and I haven't really been pushing, you know, the last couple of years. That gap was pretty broad. It, it's kind of, you know, it, it seems almost self-defeating. You go to a regional meet, you know, let's go get second, ladies. But Carlton's had that kind of grip on the region. You know, beating them at our home meet, I think, gives the girls a, a new look. Say, hey, maybe we can be regional champs. Maybe we can be a top ten team. So that was pretty exciting, no doubt about it.